Hello and welcome to WOW. Today we'll be talking about, The Last of Us Fungus Exists in Real Life. The infection in conventional zombie apocalypse fiction, such as The Walking Dead, World War Z, and Train to Busan, swiftly turns healthy individuals into mindless killers. There are a few ways in which the new HBO drama The Last of Us, based on the video game of the same name, defies expectations. To begin with, the human hosts who spread the infection are not the undead, they are still living. Furthermore, the causal agent is not a virus but a fungus. The fungus is also a genuine thing, unlike some fictional ones. The developers have stated that a section from the BBC's Planet Earth documentary series, in which a fungus takes over the consciousness of an ant, served as inspiration for the game. There are implausible elements to the show. David Hughes, an entomologist at Penn State University who consulted on the game and was quoted in the Washington Post by Kasha Patel, says it's unlikely that a fungal virus capable of manipulating people's thoughts would cause a global apocalypse. Some of it is based on speculation, but other sections are based on true research, including notions about climate change and illness that scientists are wrestling with right now. West Virginia University mycologist Matthew Casson tells Ringer reporter Claire McNear, it's not far-fetched for me. Stranger than any work of fiction, indeed. Benji Jones of Vox describes how an Ophiocordyceps fungus infects a bullet ant in the Planet Earth footage that served as inspiration for the game. Half of the insect's body eventually becomes fungus as the fungus develops inside it. However, the ant's brain remains unharmed, allowing the insect to be controlled. The ant follows Ophiocordyceps instructions and climbs a tree, where it is killed. This gives the fungus a perfect location from which to release its spores and infect more ants. Experts believe hundreds more Ophiocordyceps species exist but have yet to be identified, says Juarajo, a mycologist at the New York Botanical Garden, in an interview with CNN's Kate Galimbiewski. Researchers, however, aren't worried that people will become infected with these fungus. Researchers at Utrecht University in the Netherlands have found that zombie ants are extremely species-specific, as researcher Carissa de Becker tells CNN. Furthermore, human bodies differ greatly from those of insects. Nonetheless, the presentation touches on several topics that are still important for scientists today. In humans, fungal infections are notoriously tricky to cure, and they have received surprisingly little attention from researchers. Every time we take a breath, we're inhaling fungal spores, but most of them are completely safe, according to De Becker's interview with Vox. Only a handful of the 1.5 to 5 million known fungal species cause human illness, and they mostly target persons with impaired immune systems, according to the Post. According to Wired's Rose Evilith in 2021, more than 300 million individuals per year suffer from a major fungal illness, and approximately 1.5 million of them perish as a result. Among the many reasons why these infections are so lethal is that they are sometimes difficult to cure. Fungi are more closely connected to mammals than they are to plants, Kassin tells The Ringer. It's difficult to fight them without also fighting within ourselves. They need to develop chemicals that specifically target the fungus without negatively impacting the host. Scientists like Johns Hopkins' Arturo Casadeval, who studies microbes, told Wired that greater effort should be put into understanding the biggest kingdom on Earth. Warming temperatures are implicated in The Last of Us as a factor that helped set the stage for the fungal invasion of the world. According to De Becker's interview with Vox, most fungus have a lower temperature preference than the human body. According to the show's premises, fungal infections on people may become more common as the globe warms and fungus adapt to it. This notion is now being discussed in the scientific community. Elon Schwartz, who investigates invasive fungal diseases at Duke University, tells Vulture's Roxana Haddadi, it's not fanciful, the concept that global warming has enhanced the heat tolerance of a fungi. That hasn't been demonstrated. This is a theory that is being tested at a sluggish pace. It's not impossible, though. 
One example is the publication's speculation that the fungus Candida auris, which is resistant to several antifungal medicines and concerns those with compromised immune systems, has adapted to human body temperature. Mycologist Dimitrios Kontoyanis of the University of Texas tells CNN that a broad fungus pandemic is improbable due to the way in which the diseases propagate in people. According to Schwartz, who spoke with Vulture about the show's concept, there's tons of important challenges in the world, but this isn't one of them. However, the risk that humans face from their fungal enemies may rise as a result of the present worldwide epidemic. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more interesting facts that will wow you.